my surprise. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review King Kong. Before I review King Kong though, I'm going to have two guest stars on this review, which is Cinema Madness and Brian Mendoza. So Cinema Madness and Brian Mendoza, take it away you two. Hey guys, welcome back to Cinema Madness. Today I'm going to be reviewing King Kong with 22 Tiger Dude. So first off, King Kong is extremely slow and really not that good. But we're going to get to that in a minute. The cast is Jack Black, Naomi Watts, Adrian Brody, Andy Serkis, Colin Hanks, Jamie Bell. So not really too many big name people. Adrian Brody was in Predators and Naomi Watts. I don't remember anything that she was in. She's been in stuff. No, she wasn't in that. Alright. So Jack Black is a really bad actor. School of Rock is good. But that's pretty much it. That's all I like from him. And this movie is just really slow. This movie starts off in a Moulin Rouge-esque scene where they're in a... She's on Broadway or something, and it kind of just feels weird. And it drags on for about an hour before they get to Skull Island. That's where the movie takes place. You're just supposed to get to Skull Island. If they would have cut everything before they get to Skull Island, the movie would have been just as good. It would have been just as easy to follow. You could have just talk, like maybe had like a brief scene with each person, and then they went to Skull Island. They they all meet together and decide to go to Skull Island, but no. We just take an hour discussing everyone. And I didn't really like that at all. Um, I did like every scene that King Kong was in. He's great CGI. Um, see, when he fights the dinosaurs, is awesome. Um, everyone knows what the scene that is, even if you haven't seen the movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's on YouTube somewhere, I'm sure. But just the graphics in that scene, and where he's on top of the Eiffel Tower, um, there's a whole bunch of other scenes with him. And they're all really well done. The problem with Peter Jackson for me, I like every uh, Lord of the Rings movie so far. The Hobbit was 160... I want to say seven minutes, and it didn't feel that long. Everything in that movie was essential to the story. They didn't have a lot of add-on. In this movie, there's a whole lot of adding that really didn't need to be there, and it just makes the movie feel longer. I like long movies, as long as they're done well. And even if they do feel long and they have a really good story, it's okay, but this one just felt really long, and it really wasn't that good. But because it had King Kong, I'm going to give this one a C plus. I know. Uh, everyone likes this movie. I think on Rotten Tomatoes it had an 84. But that was just for the critics. And the regular people, it has like a 53. Which I think is more realistic. I'd probably give it, on, on Rotten Tomatoes, I'd give it probably like a 65. Maybe. But yeah, C plus. Um, just n not that good. But... Oh, uh, King Kong's great. Oh, uh, the monkey himself. So thanks for watching, and stay classy, YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back for 22 out of these Hollywood... Uh, Halloween, I was in Hollywood. Halloween uh, movie review. And we're going to talk about 2005's King Kong. This is, of course, directed by Peter Jackson. And this film stars um, Jack Black, uh, Adrian Brody... Bunch of our cast. Um, um, King Kong is a really good story. It's one of the greatest movies of all time, in my opinion. It's one of the best ones. Um, the special effects in this film is mind blowing. It looks pretty realistic, especially the T Rex scene where Kong is fighting them. Also, um, I love the story. It's a classic story, and it's pretty interesting in Peter Jackson's version of the remake of this. It's pretty good. Um, the acting is really good from the cast, also the cinematography, the score. Peter Jackson makes this film really good. Also, I didn't know this movie was going to be three hours long, because 
I remember watching this when I was five years old, and I didn't know it's gonna be that freaking long, to be honest. Um, I absolutely love King Kong. It's one of my favorite films of all time. Love Raw. I'm gonna give this one A plus. I love King Kong. So thanks, Twenty Thirty, for making me be in these reviews because they're so much fun. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and um, back to you, Twenty Thirty, dude. Thanks, you guys. You rock. And I enjoyed hearing your thoughts on King Kong. Please check out Cinema Madness and Brian Mendoza. Two very awesome dudes. Very nice dudes. And they have a great channel. I'm going to leave a link to both of their channels below. But King Kong is directed by Peter Jackson. It stars Naomi Watts, Jack Black, and Adrian Brody. And the plot is about when King Kong, he is this gigantic gorilla. But he gets captured from this island. He starts to have this little relationship with Naomi Watts. I love this movie. This movie is fantastic. It is spectacular. It is one of the best films by Peter Jackson. To me, King Kong is a masterpiece. This movie makes you really care for King Kong, really feels bad for him. The movie is epic. It's emotional. It's really groundbreaking. Peter Jackson does a phenomenal job directing this film. It's very well acted. Naomi Watts gives a great performance here. I really enjoyed Jack Black in this film. And I thought Adrian Brody did a really good job in this film as well. The cinematography for King Kong is beautiful. And I understand some people do have a problem with this film being slow because this is a long movie. And I understand when this film starts out, it gets really slow, it gets really dragged. For me, I really love the slow moments and I really appreciate it because you don't really see King Kong until after the first one hour of the film. It does take a while for us to see King Kong. I really enjoy the build up because it was important to the story and to me every scene in that very slow one hour counts because I think if they really did cut out a few moments in that first one hour the film would feel out of place and I wouldn't really enjoy the film as much. So I am actually glad the first one hour King Kong is slow because I really do appreciate it and it is necessary especially when it builds up to King Kong and all the situations that goes on in this film. The visual effects on King Kong and just the action pieces overall and the other creatures on the island. It looks beautiful, phenomenal, some of the greatest visuals I've seen in film history. It is beautifully told. I would get so teary-eyed. The finale is so good, but it is so, so sad. Oh, but I love the ending. This is a powerful film, and I really love the relationship between Naomi Watts' character and King Kong. This film blows me away. This film breaks my heart. This film just... Oh, gives me everything I want. I love King Kong. This film is so good. It's so good. It truly is a masterpiece. I could watch this film over and over again. Just well choreographed, well done action scenes, beautiful storyline, beautiful cinematography, great performances. I have absolutely no problem with King Kong. I do understand people having a problem with it being slow at times, but for me, I appreciate the slow moments, and it is needed and relevant to the storyline, in my opinion. Mesmerizing, breathtaking, a wonderful experience. I give King Kong 4 out of 4 stars. This film, it really hits me like, <clears throat> such a great movie. <laughs> I am 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power!